Hey everybody, this is Zach from The Horror Factory. I hope you've all been doing well, uh, taking care of yourselves, taking care of your families. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made my uh, my last post, um, so my apologies for that. I am working on a new video uh, right now. Uh, it's called Static, and uh, I'm very, very close to being finished. Here's a quick glimpse. Um, here's a scene that I'm going to be using, uh, using Luma Labs. So... Um, it's in the, it's in, pro, it's in the works. I want it to be great for you guys. So just hang in there today. I wanted to do something pretty fun. These are AI created alternative uh, movie posters for famous horror movies. And, um, some of them are, are pretty good. I've got quite a few in here. Uh, so without further ado, let's, let's go right on in. One of my favorite ones I'm going to lead off with is, uh, the Babadook. Um, if you are familiar with that film, this image actually looks pretty cool pretty legit you know if you were to um, think about what that movie poster would look like that this isn't too far off to be honest with you I mean that's creepy with this guy with this hat they got the hat down because you know that's a big <laughs> aspect of the character um, so so this one's really cool uh, next we're gonna go with the omen now this one's pretty cool and one thing that I actually did notice on this one is if you look right down the middle uh, both, you know, down um, vertically and horizontally, uh, there's creases in it. Um, so I, the AI created like these creases to make it look like an old film cover. And it does. One thing that you'll see, though, is that uh, they'll they list the, the movie titles twice. Um, and I'm actually not 100 percent sure on what engine um, I used to create these images because I used the uh, web sim. Um, where you create a AI website. Uh, next up, a quiet place. I mean, it's very befitting. Yeah, looks like a place where if you made any kind of sound, some kind of monster is going to come out and kill you all. Um, please subscribe to this channel. That would really mean a lot to me. Um, moving on to the next one, we have Al <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock, the birds. I, I thought this one was pretty neat. Uh, just because it, it does look like the main character from the original um, movie. And you got the birds in the background. The text, other than misspelling uh, Hitchcock, it's pretty good with this model. So that's uh, for the birds. Uh, now, this one is a movie that uh, really needs no introduction. Uh, hereditary. And wow. I mean, I would say, honestly, this is probably my favorite horror movie. And if you look, it's pretty crazy. Um, if you zoom in... There's like these faces in the window. And obviously this is a uh, like a miniature um, house uh, with a doll and stuff. And if you've seen the film, which I highly recommend, there's a model house uh, with dolls in it. Um, so, yeah, uh, moving on, we have See No Evil, which I've actually never seen. Um, this one is <laughs> this one has Kane in it, actually, in real life. I'm actually a huge fan of Kane, a huge Undertaker fan, huge Kane fan. I don't know. I should probably check it out. Let me know in the comments if you've seen it and let me know if I should see it too. But uh, I thought this was cool, you know, just for the sheer fact if this was a movie poster, like I would for sure rock that. Uh, next up, we have The Invisible Man. And <laughs> if you look at this, I mean, hands down for sure, 100%, this gives me the Kevin Bacon uh, Invisible Man vibes. And while it, I wouldn't necessarily consider it a, a, a true like horror uh, movie, you know, but it is, you know, it definitely is in, in that realm. So, but yeah, anyway, this movie poster is definitely something that I would see from that time period uh, for that movie. So I thought it actually did a really good job of getting like the vibe of that movie. Uh, next up, I threw this in here kind of just for fun. Uh, the Shining with uh, <laughs> apparently they've got Jack there in the bottom. Jack the Shining. Uh, he looks more like Duke Nukem. Uh, to me, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I just wanted to throw that in there because I thought it was just kind of funny. Um, next up, we have another shining, uh, the shining one, but uh, this one I like a little bit better. You know, it's a little on the cleaner, crisper side of things, but still, I like it. You know, pretty cool imagery. Uh, next up, we have a nightmare on Elm Street. Um, so close to getting the <laughs> the other E. Uh, and street in there but uh, I don't know I thought it had a kind of a cool vibe to it so I wanted to show you guys that one this next one psycho uh, this is actually one of my favorite ones of this batch um, so it's very simple and you know 
Psycho is such an iconic masterpiece. I mean, it really is. And I feel like this poster speaks to that, you know? Um, it just, it's unnerving. So I, I, I like this one a lot. Uh, next up, Poltergeist. So this one's pretty cool. Um, I like the old grainy weathered VHS style. It's very reminiscent of like a, a yeah an 80s movie poster. I don't recognize the character per se, you know. Uh, I don't remember that in the movie <laughs> Poltergeist, but the poster itself is badass. So I would rock that for sure. Next up is The Birds. Another one that is clean. I like it for sure. Um, I think it's pretty crisp, you know, other than maybe the feet of the bird um, to the right there. Um, and obviously the text at the very top, but, uh, you know, you could fix that easily. Next up, <laughs> we have Hellraiser. Uh, now, actually, I really like the text. The text is great for the title. Uh, the, the, the image is more like, you know, Pixar Hellraiser slash the Joker. Not a great picture, but the, but the text I'm actually pretty impressed with. Uh, next up, we have Carrie. And Carrie, obviously a classic, um... This makes a lot of sense. You know, obviously, this is just an AI-generated image of a, of, a, of a woman. Next up, we have the Babadook, another Babadook one. And this is more of an anime style, uh, clearly. But um, pretty cool image, right? I like the white on white, and I just like the simplicity of it. Uh, next up, another Hereditary. And, yeah, I know I get it underneath. It says, here, diary. But um, just ignore that. Uh, I included this one because uh, I think this is trying to show the treehouse, which in the, the original one uh, is where some pretty horrific shit takes place. Anyway, if you haven't seen the movie, definitely see it for sure. I thought this was a, did a pretty good job. Like, I would totally believe this if you took away that bottom part um, as a uh, like an alternative uh, cover. Uh, here we go. Get out. Classic. Looks a lot like the original, so I wanted to include that because I thought it did a pretty good job of uh, kind of imitating uh, the original uh, cover. The next one we have here is Rosemary's Baby, and I really like this one, actually. Like, this would be a cool poster. Like, if I had a, like, if you had this as a poster, I'd be like, sweet poster, you know? Um, I like the color that they chose for the text. It looks old, um, very artistic. So, yeah, I like it. Uh, next up, I have Halloween. Now, obviously, this isn't the Mike Myers mask, uh, but, you know, I'm just thinking in terms of alternative movie covers. You know, what if this was, take yourself back to when the original Halloween came out and you didn't want to spoil what Mike Myers actually looked like. You know, and they could have, like, had this as an alternative movie poster so that you don't, they didn't spoil what Mike Myers looked like. And obviously, in the original Halloween, they um, have just the pumpkin, but this would be a cool alternative, I would say. Um, second to last here, I have The Thing. And The Thing is top 10 for sure, best horror movies of all time, in my opinion. Um, and uh, I like this one. I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily see this as a believable um, alternative movie poster, but it is a cool image. And if you know the story, this image could take place at the very beginning or the very end. And uh, I don't know. There's just something about it that I thought was really clean. It looked really uh, uh, well put together. Uh, so I uh, left it in. And then last but not least, we have another A Nightmare on Elm Street with the actual correct spelling of um, everything there, uh, which is great. So now I, obviously this house isn't the house uh, from the film, but... Uh, you could tweak that a little bit and superimpose like an original image of the uh, of the house or something. But, uh, you know, I thought it was a cool one. Uh, this is yet again an another cool example. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these alternative uh, horror movie covers uh, that were created by AI. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Your support means a lot to me. I'm going to do some more reaction videos pretty soon here of um, ghost videos and, of course, I'm going to come up with uh, uh, some more original stories presented to you via, you know, short film style using AI image to video. And uh, I put a lot of work into it. I hope you guys will enjoy that. Static is coming soon. I will see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye.